Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Douglas Planning Board meeting for February 18th, 2021. Uh, the meeting is being recorded and is available for viewing on the Douglas Public Access Channel and on the Douglas website. We'll come to order at 7023. Uh, first item on the agenda public hearing continued pine sand and stone company application for an earth removal special permit and water resource protection overlay district uh, for 65 Manchog Street um, they've asked for a continuance I'm not sure when they asked for it to go to. Yeah, it, it's on here for yeah. uh, April 22nd. Yep. Request, April yep. 22nd. Yep. Request continuance for 42221. Correct. Oh. Need a motion? Yeah, I'll, I'll make a motion to continue the uh, Pine Sand and Stone um, 62 Manchog Road to April 22nd at 7 p.m. Okay, no second. Motion right. made by Les, seconded by Mike Z. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 We need to give our names, right? No, as long as it's unanimous, we don't have to. Tracy, oh, because Tracy. it's not a, yeah. Yeah. Just ask Tracy. Tracy? Yeah, just for the record, I'm present at this meeting. Yeah. So we'll call a vote. I'm here, and I vote yes for the continuance. So. Excellent. All right. Don't forget about me over here. No, we got oh. you. We got you. We could never forget about you. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so the vote is, is unanimous to continue. Yep. All right, we have to wait till 7.15 to do our next public okay. hearing. Right, but in the meantime. Yeah. In the meantime. Uh, take an accessory apartment or you want to do A&Rs? Oh, well, who's here? Can't touch for, the accessories. Yeah. Uh, you can't? Those are public. Dave Cahill's here for a... David and Janice Cahill for uh, yep. A and I. Yeah. There you go. Lakeshore Drive. You want to go? You want to do it now, Dave? <laughs> you ready to go? Or? What's that? Yeah, you all ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on up. Do it. Right Where is he on the agenda? Right there. This is just a piece of land. The guy bought my log cabin. It's built, bought for me. <clears throat> Buying for me. What's the engineer say on this? This is a. Um, <laughs> I think he did the turnaround. This was a five acre lot on Lakeshore, right at the end of Lakeshore, right before uh, Goodison. Yep. property and what we did is we cut it in half this land is totally impossible to build on he just wanted to pick it back pick a buffer for the property so he's buying wages from me is that the no the two acres is one lot here yeah, yeah. um lot four no lot one b is that the okay. new? Yeah, one B. All right. Yeah. So that's the uh, little uh, door stopper looking piece in the back up in the upper corner? Yeah, it's just a, like, it goes like a ski slope straight yeah. down. It just, it's just a dead piece of property. It's impossible to build on. The only place you can build on is lot 1A way at the top. Well, any lot can get built on if you've got an extermination It's like this. Yeah. I don't even build them in the center of mountains. Uh, he doesn't want to build on it. He wants to put his driveway. He wants to start a driveway to go down to the log cabin. Okay. He needed more piece of property because he wants to go to the left and build a driveway down to the log cabin. So, so that's why he bought the property. Only five signature spots. No. See it. All right. Yeah. So yeah, he, he, he bought this property. He went to start his driveway here and go down in. He needed more. So we're splitting between between one and one? One A and one B. Yeah. One okay. B is what he bought. This yeah. is the, uh, existing, okay. the existing lot lines, right? Yeah. Yep. Right. Is it changing? No, that's, that's 
the this just cutting just it in cut half. That right in half. Okay. Okay. This yeah. was one five acre piece. We just cut it right there. Okay. And he's gonna put a driveway onto the left down there. That's all. You're gonna cut one B in half, or you're gonna? No, it was one. Shown here. It was. That was one five acre lot. One A and one B. Oh. We just cut it right in half. No. He, okay. he needs that extra buffer zone for a driveway to go down to the log gap. Yeah. Front yeah. there. Why do they keep putting on five signature lines on these eight eyes? I don't know. Six. Seven. Seven. Yeah. So that's. They would stay. That's when uh, Bill would send you back. Yeah. No, it's so. Well, it's supposed to be the seven. Is that all you have is the mylar? You have regular? Yeah, I've got a, yeah. Oh, they underneath it? Yeah. yeah. How many do you have? I think two sets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With the application again? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. All right, I got no problem. So, yeah. Boyd, any questions? Yeah. No, they both have front edge. Just getting a bigger back front guy. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and we recently just discussed this whole layout, oh, anyways, yeah. and we approved yeah. the access, so the, the turnaround is going to be an issue with doing yeah. it nope. again. Nope. Yeah. Okay. He just wants to use a little piece of land to get down that, put his driveway in. Yeah. It's it. That's it. More motion? Thank you. Yeah. Let yeah. me make a motion. I'll make a motion to endorse the A and R plan for David and Janice Cahill, Lakeshore Drive, lot number 1A and lot number 1B. Second. Motion made by Mike C, seconded by Mike G. Any, any further discussion? You want to do a roll call vote? Sure. Uh, Les Stevens, aye. Mike Krakow, aye. Mike Swicker, aye. Aaron Sokrat, aye. Jake Schultzberg, aye. Tracy Sharpley, aye. Ernie Mox, aye. Okay. okay, motion carries. All right, All right we'll sign the mylar. Do we yeah. want to sign it now and get him out of here? Yep, we'll sign it. Yeah. Can you get rid of me? Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> you want to hang out? How's it going, Good. Nice to well, see you. Yeah. Yep. You know, I saw him. This one has enough signatures. Awesome. The official one does? Yeah, but the, the one. So the one presented. The one printed was just different. Yeah. Okay. 18? Oh, I don't even know. Today? 18. Yeah. 218. 218. Yep. Yeah, we already stamped the other one. We can get those later. Stamp those later. Is this burning? And we'll sign the other ones at the end of the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm right next to it, so I'll just do it when everyone right, comes. So Appreciate that. Hey, the road looks good, you know? Things moving along. Yeah, we got, so, one, we got one going. As soon as we got one, it's still good. So, Dave, wouldn't that, uh, that, that basically, he doesn't want to have two lots there. He's just gonna combine them and. Well, there's one lot on the top that you can build on. Yeah. That, this lot's like this. Okay. It's, yeah. yeah. He needs it for the driveway. So he, oh, no. Just extra buffer land for him. That's good. Yeah, just a, yeah. Else? a little extra yeah. piece of land. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know where. I know where. Yeah. yeah it's, Cause you can't drive down to the log cabin anymore. <laughs> So he's putting the driveway and he needs that piece. Cool. There you go, sir. All right. Here we go. All side done. Good. All done. Now, do, you, do I keep this? You take that uh, to the register. That's yours. Yeah, yeah, that's yours. Leave, leave the paper ones here. Yeah, we got stamped those. Yeah, yeah, those, those are ours. Those, those are ours. That one's yours. That one's yours. Hold on to them. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Don't let that get wet outside. Nope. Thank you, fellas. Yep. Thank yep. you, Dave. Good luck with everything. Yeah. Yep. And Tracy. Not just fellas. Not Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Go. Anyway, we're still not 7:15 yet, so. Yep. We want to. Another A and R. Yeah. Yeah. Another A and R. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. You're up. A and R. A and R. It's uh, James Fitzpatrick. Where is that? Where is this? 16 Franklin? 36 Davis. Which shall be Route 16. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Route 16. It took me a while. Oh, 
Uh, if we have a copy in. Is this yeah, it? Is this it? Yeah. 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 yeah, this is a copy in our packet. Yeah. Let's go over there, there and explain there. what's happening. Okay. Um, and who you are. Uh, I'm Tim Callahan. Consulting. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jim Fitzpatrick owns the property. Okay. He owns lot 17. Uh, Jim Pine um, owns lot 18. He owns that subdivision up above. Jim Fitzpatrick built a garage, has an existing foundation that's like a garage under construction. He talked to the building department about he has a business, he, he does flooring, and he wants to operate his business out of the garage. The building department advised him that he needs two acres. So we acquired part of lot 18, which is parcel 18A on the plan, to okay. Accomplish the two acres. Okay. Lot 18B is a separate build of lot remaining for lot 18. And the garage would be that existing foundation? Yes. So that's a commercial, obviously, 48 by 72 is yeah, large. Garage. Yeah, it's 3,500 square feet, 3,200 or something like that. Two stories. Two stories. Well, he's got a, like a mezzanine up oh, It's already there? He's working on it, yeah. Yeah. So he has a permit, he's been building that. Oh yeah, it's already up. Yeah. Oh, okay, just ask the question. The, uh, okay, I was just looking at this one, I, I don't see it stamped. That one's, that one's stamped. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's all I was looking for. All right. So, so, so Boyd, any questions? Uh, how did, yeah, I'm just confused a little bit. How does he, why does he need two acres? Isn't that, what's that zone? Is that zone village residential? It's zone VR village residential. Okay. But it, so you need two acres. Because of the use? Building department. No, you need the use. It requires two acres. Because of the use. Because of it's the building. industrial use or yeah. commercial. Commercial use. Oh, okay. I always, I thought he was using it as a hobby shop. No, he wants to make a business there. Okay, he wants to run the business yeah. out of there? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. And so that requires two acres for the yep. commercial site. Okay. That's where I was lost a little bit. I was like. So in the village, I want to ask a question because I want to yep. because of zoning issues maybe. So yep. just to be sure. In the village residential, the VR, is commercial use allowed? Some commercial is allowed, yeah. So I'm yeah. just asking, when we go to that chart. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need zoning board approval to change the use? No, no for the it's allowed by use. It's allowed by That's use. what the, the regulation says, you know, 20,000 square feet. But if you want commercial or industrial. It says that in the chart is what I'm asking. Acres, so it follows the requirement of zone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what we have to do. Dot the uh, Tracy, right. anything? Tracy, any questions? Yeah, I'm just looking for the uh, zoning reference on moving it to the from 20,000 square feet to two acres in a VR. Uh, note number what, six. What's the section of the bylaw? Yep. Note number six. Thank you. All right, Boyd, anybody else? Well, let's, did, Tracy, are you satisfied on that? That's a question. It's a question. She oh, go ahead, funny. Tracy, what is it? She just asked it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Tracy, I didn't hear you. Go ahead and ask again. Well, what is the section of the bylaw that bumps it from the the village residential is 20,000 square feet, bumps it to two acres because we typically have uh, RA is 90,000 square feet. So I'm just wondering what, where the two acres comes into play. What the zone? Yeah, I don't. Where is it. the zoning bylaw? Where is it written? Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, no because because if you're if if you're zoned village residential, right? for single family or in that area, you know what I mean, all the way through. Uh -huh. There's, y your property is zoned for that. So you can't flip zoning from residential to commercial based upon the square footage. But he's saying it's in the regs? Or well, the building is it? department, the building, we did this for Jim and he was told by the building department that, that it's okay to put a business or operate, operate a business from your home or from your home lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we, we would need a ladder from the building. Yeah, center. so, so, so the that cleared uh, out. Yeah. Village, the, the, this village business, which is 20,000 square foot. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't have the regs in front of me, but I'm pretty familiar with it. Then there's VR, which is 20,000. Okay, and then there's commercial. But 
what your property is zoned as, you can't change that no, without a town. The zoning. That's why we have existing VR. So your existing VR. But, but it qualifies for home right. business. If it's yeah, but you just said it isn't a home business. Let's say landscape. Yep, right. it's not a home business. Have a garage there for stuff. You still can run a home. Be allowed. You can run on village residential and village business. You can run a home business out of it. You can. Right. I, well, I know it for a fact. I know. Be a home right. business. But, but again, home but, business is not a thirty-five hundred square foot garage. You know, business well, it's because a home business in yeah, that yeah, keeps those equipment. Can we? Like we, we, we have neighbors that have the right of their adjacent zoning for the protection of their. Yeah. You know, living there in peace and harmony and not having a business grow out of there. The tractor trail is coming in, he's working the machine yeah, shop. Yeah. So we need, there's more to this than just just creating an A&R in a consistent zone. I think there's more to it. Yeah, well, I, I, I think... We did, I, we did with the building department. Yeah. I, 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 you know, a letter from the building department would help? Yeah, we're missing the connection. I'm personally missing the connection because if, if you're zoned VR, you're allowed to run a business out because you're basically on Route 16 or on, along that fairway. Right. So you're allowed to have a business or shop in the back and stuff like that because you're zoned. To a certain point. To a certain point. And then you'd be, then you'd have to be rezoned to commercial or v, VB, which is VB still 20,000 square foot, okay? And commercial I is- I don't know where he's making you do this. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah, that, that's the point. That, that's the piece I'm missing. Yeah, but he's not coming. Can I interject for one second? Yeah, go ahead, Trace. So the application in front of you, so Bill had reviewed this. He had a track sheet for our typical A&R uh, applications. If everything is on there, it really, we don't really yeah. need to know about the right. zoning. Right, yeah. Thing. We're just looking we at the lot. Right. There's, no, there's no new buildable lots being made, and if Bill's checklist has been completed, it really yeah. is yeah. not a... It's relevant. It's relevant. I agree. this moment, because okay. the zoning is the zoning. Yeah. I had posed the question. I still did not get the answer. So I, I don't know why I didn't get the answer on how it's bumped. I understand the intensity. So if, if you propose a home occupancy, then you're, you know, you are going to the two acres. I don't find that anywhere. But that's not really what... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Is it an approval? Uh, you know, approval lot. A and Yeah. That's all. That's There's all we're looking at. Is the A and I lot. If Bill's list has been completed on that plan, then we can't withhold endorsement. Right. No, agree. I posed the question. I still didn't get the answer, though. Yeah. Okay. For the record. Yeah, yeah. But we're not. We're not approving a business. We're just approving. Right. Approving a lot. Yeah, 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 it's still just an A and R. So. I don't care what you do. Right, exactly, exactly. As long as it meets the criteria right. for, yeah. the, for the for the zoning, and okay. we can approve yep. that if that's the case. Okay. But to, for Tracy's point, she's still looking for the answer. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah but what, that's not what, what we're looking at. What tonight. made it suggest that he's given us an explanation why? But all we're looking at is the why. Correct. I, I don't right. know what would ever trigger that. Is it like let's make a deal? It's not what we're supposed to be doing. It's not like all right, all right. I know it's a. Do two acre and we won't have a problem. No, well, let's find out what it is. Yeah. No, no, we have no say in that. No, yeah, right. yeah. no, agree. I, I don't have a problem. I still would like my answer question. Uh, right. My question answered, though. Right. I can't nobody, answer. Nobody has that answer. No. Where in the bylaw it says that you don't have to increase your square footage to two acres because we all have 90,000 square feet. Yeah. I don't have the book in front of me. No, I don't either. Dimensional table. Okay. What, what allows someone, and I just want to ask a question, like if we have two acres, somebody has two acres on a regular street, what what keeps them from going for a 3,500 square foot garage and opening a real big business in there? So I, I guess, could you could you read note six to Tracy for the record? I, I mean for her, because I think that's what he was referencing. Yeah. Do you want to read that out loud so she can The intent that? of this plan is to subtract parcel 18A from lot 18 and convey it to the owner of lot 17 in order to conform to a two-acre home business zoning requirement. Okay, is that? Got that, Trace? You know, we have a note on Yeah, that. I don't have a, I don't have our zoning reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me neither. The section of the zoning bylaw for the town of Douglas, what is the reference that it goes to two acres? We don't know that. We don't have a book in front of us either. Well, without having that information, I, I find it, 
Can we not know so? I mean, no, we just, we're just doing an A and R. Yeah, we're just doing an A and R. We're not doing a business or anything. We're doing an A and R. Does anyone have the zoning bylaw? I don't have the book with me. No. Online no. Right now, if I you want to look it up, it. we can we can wait. It in our zoning bylaw. Yeah, because under here it says zoning requirements. It says right on this but page. But it's not given the bylaw. She's looking for the number. Yeah. What's it pertaining yeah. to? Why? It should, it should reference section XXXX. Right. You know. Is we that germane to what we're doing, or do we want to wait for that? It, it's ideal to be on the plan if you're going to reference a note. Right. So we say, should ask for that. To specifically state why. Correct. Well, what's it referring to? Let's dig it out. You know what I mean? I mean, we're not, a, you know. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, let's just I mean, call the building department, because he's the one that told me that. Yeah, yeah. It, but, but I didn't. It's, it, it's just, you know I mean? Um, we got nobody here to help you out on this. In note, in, in note 8, there's a question on note 8. That I might have. There are no proposed buildings on lot 17 and parcel 18A. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't care if there is existing, it says existing, mm -hmm. existing foundation, and then they're putting up a building now. So I don't know that, that there are no proposed buildings, meaning new buildings, but just make sure that it references that there are. Don't say, suggest there isn't any, like there's all these buildings, but why does that say there are no proposed buildings with them to task it, on lot 17 and parcel 18A? In that note, I'm just asking. Yeah. Oh, why? Why does it say that? Well, because my opinion is you can't section. really withhold endorsement because he's not, as long as if somebody has Bill's checklist, you cannot withhold endorsement because he's not, there is no approval required for what they're doing. They're no. swapping land. Correct. The zoning issue is the zoning issue. So if the plan is incorrect right. with right. the notes, then it's incorrect. That's their problem. Yeah. Right. yeah. Fair enough. But we need to, it, we can't withhold endorsement if it meets right. the requirements yep. of an A&R plan. Yep. I'm asking the questions. I don't know why this is difficult. We, we don't have the book in front of us, and all the offices are locked right now. Yeah, I get it. Does the plan reference the section of the Bible? No, it doesn't. No, no. It's increasing the two acres? Correct. No, and that's the problem. That's why we're... The, you know, the, plan, the, the plan doesn't reference it. Tech, you know, I mean, the plan should reference it. For well, the plan should reference the BR zoning, correct? Because that's what the zone is, that's what zone it is, and then yep. it's by default if it is actually two acres, which I don't believe it is, yep. then that yep. would trigger that you are okay. allowed to build that type of structure. Yep. It, so you can't really withhold the nope. you can't withhold correct. that endorsement. No, nope, we can't. No, nope. agree. I, I, I mean, it references VR and the requirements related to VR, which is if what the it's VR, it's VR. That's it. So, no, I, I'm all right with it then. The, the only way you can withhold <coughs> it is if the applicant withdraws without prejudice and comes back again. Well, even though you approve the, all you approve, all, all, all you're approving is the, the combining of Yeah, I have no, I have no problem with The building department. Yeah. He'll department. deal with the zoning yep. issues. Yep, right. Yeah. Agree. And that's why we put yep. yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I have, the only thing is normally, uh, that's the problem without having somebody in the office over there. Yeah. No would have had reference notes. Had you, had them put on the reference mm -hmm. to particularly state why or how come. So what section? Yeah, yeah. that's what it got. Right part. now, it's an open <laughs> deal. And yeah. So, what, what, what are we making? What put that reference on, it wouldn't matter because it's still a note on here that this plan conforms to it. There's no one do, does not necessarily mean that this plan conforms to current zoning. Right. Correct. Correct. Right. I'm just that's there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing. Good. I'm good with yep. that. So, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion. motion. We're good. Yeah, I'll make a motion. What happens to note six? Hold Excuse on. me. What happens to note six? It, it stays on. Is yeah, but it's, no it's not relevant, really. It's not quite. It, well, we don't know. It, 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 you know what? It's a uh, the applicant it probably would have been best to have that notation in there for for their records, but it's it's outside of our scope. Right. So, so Mike's gonna make a so motion and we're, we're here to do. Um, I I wouldn't have. Yep, as an applicant, but sorry. Yes, yep. We don't know. We did, we, uh, that, my, my point was, mm -hmm. note six says we have they need to conform to the two acre home business zoning requirement. That's it. We can't right. confirm. Well, we were asked to clarify that. Well, That's what we clarified. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess that'll be the amendment zoning. It, it, it's nothing to do with nothing us. Nothing to do us. Yeah. I mean, everybody can split the land up any way they want. Yeah, right. it doesn't mean it. They meet the, they meet the requirements. They meet the requirements. Yep. Zoning. Yeah. Fair enough. So I'll make a motion to endorse the A and R plan for James Fitzpatrick and JMT Sleepy Hollow 
at 36 Davis Street and Joseph Road, Lot 18. Second. Motion made by Mike Z, seconded by Jake. Yep. Roll call vote. Bill Stevens, aye. Mike Greco, aye. Mike Swooker, aye. Aaron Socrat, aye. Jake Schultzberg, aye. Tracy Sharkey, aye. Ernie Mox, aye. Cool. Okay. Do you have a my law with you? Yes. Ernie? Yeah, I took up. Which is just a, a notation that would be better for you guys. Because of, uh, you would think the. Uh, is it right here? If, um, it, it oh, which one are you? Uh, uh, 730. Yeah, Good. just start always. Excellent. My lot that you're Good for me. Okay. Yep. You said 18, right? Yep. Thanks, Ernie. Did some drums. Thank you. Have a good night. Take care. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Almost. All right. Public hearing continued. For Carol Gugolinski and William Cogley, application for duplex special permits for lots one, two, three, four, five, and six, Gilboa Court Extension Subdivision, assesses map 116, parcels three, 3.1, 3.2. 3.3, 3.3, and 3.4, and assesses map 138, parcel 3.5. Request a continuance till 3.4.21. So moved. And we'll do 7.15. Yeah. So 7.15. 7.15, yep, uh, March 20. Okay. Uh, March 4th. Yep. All right, motion made by Mike Z. Who's second? Second. Seconded by Mike G. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Yeah. All those in favor, roll call vote. Bless Stevens, aye. Mike Greco, aye. Mike Swicker, aye. Aaron Socrat, aye. Jake Schultzberg, aye. Tracy Sharkey, aye. Aaron Smocks, aye. I think this is a standard okay. one. Almost so. All right, 7.30. Public hearing. Timothy Almost. and Elsie Dinomi. Application for an accessory apartment special permit, 16 Franklin Street. Possible vote. That's yeah. me. Is that you? That's me. Okay. This brand uh, brand new construction, standalone. No. Nope. The, the story with this one is is that the application expired. They went past the deadline to refile. Oh, so they're renewing it. To renew, so they have to refile. That's why. Okay. So it's a complete new, basically a complete new application, but nothing's changed, right? Everything's still the same. Everything's still the same. Except for the lack of notification from the town. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah. Could I interject for one moment? Yeah, go right ahead, Tracy. Um, did anyone take a look at the COVID um, stay for expiration of permits in existence? It's a 45 day stay during the COVID time during the uh, state of emergency. So if this did expire during that period, it could be it renewal. Does have the same amount of time that the stay was. Yeah. Yep. To um, to renew his application. When did it expire? Yeah, October. October seventeenth. 
Of last year? Of last year. Yeah. October, November, oh, so December. So it should be in that state. Correct. If it was just October of last year. Yeah. January. There is, there is um, extraordinary circumstances going on. Yeah. And, sure. um, and no one is to be penalized during this time period. Correct. For an emergency. Yep. Uh, the, the, fact, the, the fact of the matter is, though, it's, it's already been all done, Tracy. The, 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 all the abutters have been notified. Everything's, everything for a complete new application has been done. Let's just do it then. Just be done with it. So it's it's not like you... Well, keeping in mind that if this occurs again, yeah, there, is a, there is a waiver time period. Okay. Yeah. Well, not the... when, when did you go? When did you file this? I only, I only filed it in December after I got my uh, cease and desist order on December 2nd. Oh, you did this? Okay, I'll look back in December? Yeah. Okay, but you, you don't so want to refile it. Okay. No, okay, the way it is, right? Just, no, no, you know, I'll, I'll no find the way it is. I yeah. just, I would. I would think I, so. I, yeah. I, I would just something, something to consider is that something like this, right? We yeah. get notified for taxes, dog licenses, yeah. excise taxes, everything like that, but a three-year permit. I can't, you know. You yeah, can't it track simple, oh, yeah. So, yeah. so big deal. Let's just do it as a new application. It's just the way it is. And yeah. Be done with it. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. Done with yeah. it. It yeah. looks fine. Everything's it, been everything's done. Everything's good. Oh. Well, there's a yeah. Huh? Well, there's a, you know, I mean, you have, you have your butters, right? Which is like eighty-five dollars. Your base fee of two. He's a, he's already, he doesn't want to refile though and everything and re-advertise. Yeah. Oh, he's already he's already advertised. Yeah. No, he doesn't want to re just to, he doesn't want to change the status from a. New application to a renewal, and then all that stuff that goes on with this it. This clock start restarts anyways. Whether it's a renewal or new, it right. starts the three-year clock again. No, that's fine. I'm just saying that that the difference it, is 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 he, a fifty dollar renewal. You could get some money back, but I think you'd have to probably do something. If he wants to try to do that, that's fine. I'm I'm going to take this as an application. Let's do it for us. Do and it for him. Approve it so that he can get on his way. way. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else have any questions? Is this a continuation or is it no, 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 just be this just is an application like is. for an accessory permit. Yep. Yeah. I would have filed it as a renewal if they would have left, but right. again, they, they built none of He already had everything's before. built, it's already there, Mike. The, the permit ran out and he didn't yeah. so reapply. We're treating for, it as a new We're treating it as a new one, yes. But everything's the same, nothing's changed. He All just right, had to refile because the, yeah. the period the yeah. deadline ran out to Renew it. So we need a motion to accept the application? Yep. Make a motion to accept the application for Timothy and Ellis the morning? At least. <laughs> on uh, 16 Franklin Street for the uh, application for accessory apartment special permit. Number AA okay. 2101113. Second. Okay. Motion made by Mike Z, seconded by Jake. Any further discussion? Nope. All right, roll call vote. Uh, Les Stevens, I'll abstain. Mike Arcolari. Mike Swicker, aye. Aaron Socrat, aye. Jake Schultzberg, aye. Tracy Sharkey, aye. Okay, Ernie Mox, aye. One of extension from Les. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, motion carries. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. yeah, no, no, no. Thank you. Well, I get a I'll get a copy of the mail, right? For the, you yeah, should, we'll, yeah. We'll yeah. Yeah, we'll be signing something yeah. to talk tonight. We'll yeah. Okay. So, but yeah. All right. You know, is there some is there some way for like I said, this is a three year thing. Is there some way to get some kind of notification from the town at this point? I we get notified for everything else. Put, it, put it in your phone. Oh, well, no, yeah. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to. Yeah, I, 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 I honestly, I know they they do. Because we have a list. Yeah. So if we have yeah. a list, yeah. if we're not getting notified, then we're I understand. Gonna, you know what I'm saying? So like this, this whole process was actually a big pain. Instead of paying the, the you know three-page application where it's quick, 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 I, I, done, you know, ten copies of this, ten copies of this, ten copies of this, building plans that are for houses built. Hmm. You yeah. know, like the logic of that is like, why don't we just? Yeah. Yeah. You That's know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't disagree with you. I'll look into it. I, I thought they did re we were, notify. We were provided a list, so if it's a housekeeping thing where we just have to. Yeah. Right. So is this something we can get like a motion for like a 60 day notice on something like this? Because it's just a simple phone call or email or. Yeah. Well, yeah. email, you have them on file because <laughs> it's yeah. on application. All right. I'll, we'll, <laughs> well, right now the office is in turmoil, so we're. Yeah. We're. With, goes with, over, we'll we're definitely short staffed right now, so. Oh, I, I, yeah. I how it goes. <laughs> no, but we'll look into it Just for sure. About, yeah, like, no, no, I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, I agree. It's <laughs> like getting a license renewal, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get a notice, but your license renewal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, first All right. Stay with your money that point. <laughs> well, don't you guys? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. So, All right. right. Thank All you. Right. Good luck with everything. Appreciate it. All right. Next item on the agenda. 
745. So you want to do some, uh, do you have any meeting minutes or anything we can do? Mike? Yeah. Oh, you want to do uh, Yeah, we're not up yet. 745, I guess. We've got to wait to 745. Yeah, we, yeah. 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 So you want to do the minutes? For the inner report. Because Ernie? it's a public hearing, that's why. Yeah. Ernie? Yeah. Ernie, you want to do the in your report? Bit, so I didn't know if you were ahead of schedule. <laughs> we are in many ways, but what do we got, Mike? You want to do the in your report? This is the first time he's been on our packet. So okay, so we yep, don't know right. that. Can do it. Yeah. Yep. We, can, we can do the annual report. That's yeah. not a bad idea. Number three. Was it, yeah. Wasn't the town administrator coming tonight? Yeah. Let me find it. Snowstorm or something. I don't know. Snowstorm. <laughs> Where are you? We're here. Yeah. Um, I have to find it. <laughs> yeah, it's a one-page thing. Yeah. I, um, I, I, looked at, I looked at it earlier. Yep. It, it looks to be accurate and everything looks good in it. I agree. We have nothing to compare it to, but I'd say. Anybody have any questions on it? What? Um, on what? The three under discussion. Yeah, number discussion. three under discussion, our annual report. Yeah. I, oh, yes. Yeah, so You know, you, you know, the thing that could, could be worthwhile to, to add on to it, which would, I think is that list, is we could list all the um, the accessory apartments. But that could be a okay. the one page thing, Mike. Looks like this. You got it? Yeah. No, I didn't make sure. It's it's in the pile. Okay. Anybody have any questions on it? We, we have a, a list of all of those places in town, supposedly. Yep. This is like our resume here. Yeah. This is what we did. Well. List of accomplishments for the yeah, year. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it goes in the, it goes in the <laughs> annual town book. <laughs> your resume. Town book. <laughs> goes yeah. in the town book. Yep. Tracy, well, anything on the annual report? No, I'm good. Thank okay. you. All right. Yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, wanna, somebody want to make a motion? I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a motion to approve the 2020 annual report as written. Second. Motion made by Les, seconded by Mike Z. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor, roll call vote. Les Stevens, aye. Mike Arthur, aye. Mike Swooker, aye. Aaron Socrat, aye. Jake Schultzberg, aye. Tracy? Tracy Sharpie, aye. Ernie Mox, aye. Okay. And your report is approved. We're going to wait eight minutes. Eight right, you want to do meeting minutes? Mike Z? Uh, he, hasn't, Mike G? he hasn't reviewed them yet. Just gone just, first time. Got him, so. You want to review them? Got a couple but minutes. Next meeting. All right. Yeah. You haven't had a chance to look at them yet. No. Okay. First time I've seen them. Yeah. Well, all right. We'll do them at the next meeting then. That's if you're, you want to wait. All right. Okay. Yep. Good. That's all cool. right. Do you have vouchers you want to send to Ryan, or you want to wait? So, uh, so, so when the last meeting's done, we can be books. Yeah. Have a ZBA application. We have two of them. <laughs> Well, all right, let's see which ones. We'll, I don't know. I'll take we'll, one. We'll do, uh, well, can we do that? I'll take a Oh, we can do vouchers, one or the other. Uh, do both. Uh, yeah, the give them a few minutes to look at those, the ZBA ones, yeah. while we do vouchers. These. Yeah. You want, you want, okay. Yeah. Take a look at them. Throw one to Jake? Yeah. You want to give one to Jake? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just want to look at locations on that. Sure, I picked a good one. Give Jake the hard one. Oh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> Which one's thicker? Yeah, we need a scale. Well, right? well, good thing is, I, I know well, the, the other one we already talked about, which is the uh, um, concrete place with the height. Yeah. <laughs> so, like the easy one. <laughs> Remember the height thing yep. that we talked about? So I this have is no the problems with that. You're all good with that? I don't either. It's fine. All right, so let me just, I just want to redo it quick. But how, how did that get the zone? Huh? That issue with, how did, what does zoning have to do with this now? Yeah, okay. See, the, the concrete, all right. Uh, we have all right. We have no objections, right? Well, we're talking industrial in the middle of a. Okay. Ten story building. It ought to be nice. Jake, can you help with that one? Uh, I'm just just getting into it now. Yeah. So this is the uh, variance for the height. Yeah, I have no problem with it. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else does. Tracy. What is it? Oh, this is the, uh, no, I do not. I think also, um, so they've got something that's uh, an extra height that they got yeah. approved for a while back, the same um, mixer. Right. And the safety 
the safety uh, railings and yeah. the um, air handler type of thing that required by the EPA is what is within the the um, required yeah. height. Yeah. So yeah. I don't yeah. have any problems. I'm good with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Trace. That one's done. All right, so that takes care of that one. Yep. All right. This is this is also the uh, site plan review permit for dolphins. For, for, so yes, if you want to, there's yeah. two two copies of this. We'll just pass this around. Yeah. Yep. Okay, there, you got it. Or, yeah, yeah, cool. Hey, uh, Ernie. How come there was an absent here for you? Hmm? There's an absent? Did you see this? Sure. You. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have signed it. Because I, I was absent for that meeting, yeah. So. You want to take this one back? Oh, I, I, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Oh, you want to just go forward? I already signed both of them, okay. so just pass them on, because, okay. I mean, I reviewed the meeting, so. Yep, fair enough. Okay. This one doesn't seem too bad. It's uh, down on Rawson Road, small cottage. They're looking to extend a, a deck that's already there that's been approved previously uh, by six feet. So it's there now, a 10 by seven, and looking to do a 16 by seven. Um, just in the rear, the rear setback, 25 feet, and this will bring it to, looks like 13.7 <laughs> feet. Oh, hey, where is it, Jake? Rosslyn hey. Road. Rosslyn Road. Mike. Okay, that's down off the terrace. Lakeside Residential. <laughs> Anybody have any objection with that? No. No. Okay, so it's just totally no, no, no. It's totally put it all back together huh? and just check yeah. off we have more. Sure the yeah. process. Yeah. I mean, Here. That'll work. And it's a special permit. No objection. Yep. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Oh, you didn't, you didn't okay. sign that. I thought. Oh, I had to sign it. Yeah. Oh, I got to sign. Just the bed sound at the bottom where it says "Buckles Planning Board." Okay. There you go. Sorry. There. Okay, still got the yep. Yep. Anything else in the Two places. Next meeting. Yep. Uh, the other one is March. Uh, um, oh, okay. Because she's not here, present with us. Here. She's online. Pat? Yeah. <laughs> um, Do you uh, go wait a couple minutes, I guess? I'm going to know. And we'll have to stamp those other uh, plans, those a &Rs. Yeah, we have to do those. Boom, boom, boom. Done. We're almost at that correct time. <sighs> Thank you. That's yours. Okay, just see if Patrick's this. This might jump on. Maybe. Oh, it's all right. So we're, just, we're closer, I guess. Ooh. Very nice, Mike. Is it short? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're good. Ready for the next public yep. hearing? Yep. Shoves that thing right. right out of it. There we go. <laughs> In accordance with the Town of Douglas Accessory Apartment Zoning Bylaw and Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 48, the Douglas Planning Board is holding a public hearing on the application of Mark A. and Patricia J. Small for an accessory apartment special permit. The property location is 8 Southwest Main Street, Assessors Map 213, Parcel 22, Douglas, Mass. This public is hearing is being held on. Thursday, mm -hmm. February 18th at 7.45 p.m. in the Municipal Center, 29 Depot Street. Copy of the plan 
may be viewed in the community development department during regular business hours. Any person interested or wishing to be heard on the proposed plan should appear at the time and place designated. Ernest Marks, Chairman, Douglas Planning Board. The public hearing is now open. Okay. It looks Why? I just have a quick question. Why is that marked renewal and not new? Because this is the same as the same last as one the last we just oh. did. Yeah. Okay, so the party has it. The yeah. whole deal. How long have you had the accessory apartment? Um, let's see, that was in 2013, so okay. we've had it for seven, eight years. Nothing's changed? Nothing's changed at all, same way as it Okay. Cool. That's right. So, all right. What's that? No, it's just it's got, it got overlapped on that stuff. So time wise. Filed application. He, he did not file a new one. Huh? It's filed as a, as a renewal. But we're not going to be punitive because of. Right, but he, he no, it's the same. It's the same as the last, the one. last right. one. Right. Right. Although I didn't, I should. I, I didn't read the public hearing notice for the last one. We, we should open and close it. But. You had any questions? No. No, I would also bring to the board's attention that we should. Um, Anybody that's expiring 2021, we should send them a formal letter from the community development department. Ahead of time. Yeah. It must, it must not be too many people. I mean, that's a courtesy. I know the applicant is responsible for uh, keeping up to date with their permits that they receive, but that would be a nice courtesy. I don't think it'd be too hard to have a program that looks the community development now when these are coming up. I mean, it's a, a big deal. Yeah. In, in our last somebody at our last meeting, they did provide. I think Maria did provide a whole list of all of them and the date. So I think we just need to follow. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if we ever did remind people before or not. I think it was the, it was right. the applicant's responsibility, but we can look into it. Okay. I can echo the sentiments of Mr. Denomi. Yep. Um, to have that, I can, I again, in fact, we had talked August. in the hallway. We were both renewing at the same time. And we say, you know, yeah, it's like a dog license for us. Yes, we are responsible for it. We're responsible for our dog licenses, but it just never got around with COVID and everything else going on. Right. Yeah. And so we end up, instead of just a $50 renewal, it costs you know, $675 to get yeah. a new application that we don't want to get in trouble and, you know, have to get a cease and desist order. So yeah. if we can figure that out, that would be a great thing just for other it. folks yeah. coming down the line. Yeah, yeah. I agree. We, we'll look into it. We can look we'll into look it. into it. Okay. That's a for sure. Who's going to no. make a motion? Oh, I'll pass it. I'll make it. Are we treating this as a renewal? It's a new. It's just, no, it's, it's a, a new application. Yeah. Same yeah. thing as the last one. Yep. Yeah. We all set. Yep. Well, I need a motion to close the public hearing. Yeah. Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Made by Mike Z. Seconded by Mike G. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You go. Tracy. 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 Aye. There you go. Okay. Vote is unanimous. Yep. I'll make a motion yep. to accept the application for accessory apartment special permit for Mark and Patricia Small on 8 Southwest Main Street. I'll second that. Motion made by Mike Z, seconded by Les. Yep. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Tracy? Thank you very much. Tracy? Thank you. Yep. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, both unanimous. You're welcome. Take care, Mike. Yeah. Um, All right. All right. Uh, I see our esteemed town administrators online. Yes. Can you hear us? Is this is this a public forum, or yeah. is that how it goes? Yeah. 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 Well, what's we got? Yeah. Matt. Yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is the top of my head. I don't want to do a Shirley. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. All our business is done. There you go. <laughs> all right. No, it's, it's, it's probably just the audio. We can't hear you as clear. Yeah, I think my microphone is covered up. Right? It's fine. It's fine. We hear all right. you. All right. Yep. So, Mr. Chairman, are you through with the rest of your agenda? Do you want me to speak to this now? Let's do it, right? Yep. And we, we, we're just curious as to what's going to be going on as far as the, us having access to an engineer for reviews of plans and stuff that come in. And uh, you know, some kind of a maybe a, is there a deadline that anybody's working on to get somebody or what's is happening? the process going to change or 
just can you bring us up to date what what we're, what direction we're headed in? Let it rip. I, I think I'll answer all those questions in order. <laughs> <laughs> I kept them straight as you went through them. Um, first things first, we have to be in compliance with the Open Meetings Act. And uh, you need a minute taker. The whole town needs a minute taker. We did hire someone on Friday and finished all the paperwork yesterday. And she's getting started, I think, tonight. I asked her to um, prioritize planning board first. You have no fewer than five meetings already. So um, she needs to catch you up. And with the pace that you're going at, especially with the joint meetings with the other towns, we would just want to make sure that we're, that we're catching you up. The good news is, you know, the, the oldest date is from the beginning of January, so it's not the worst condition you could possibly be in. Um, I'm very open to any feedback you have about the quality of the minutes. Um, everybody needs to learn the job as they do it and learn how much detail you're comfortable seeing and what you want for attribution and what you don't want in the formal minutes of the committee's proceedings. So uh, open book. And I've told Ashley, because the new person has the same name as the last person, it's Ashley. Um, if, if it's too many hours for her and she wants you know, to, to delegate, there were other applications that came in after hers from qualified individuals who know the town quite well. So I'm comfortable. Um, yeah, it was first come, first serve, and she was offered the position. I'll leave it in her court, but if she gets overwhelmed, we do have other people who can step up, who are willing to step up and do the minutes. So I'm, I'm confident that we'll be out of the woods in a couple of weeks with, with minutes for all our points of the minutes. As for um, planner slash engineer slash um, consultant. Uh, medieval torture specialist for all applicants. Uh, that position is vacant. I don't plan on filling that one. Um, I do want to make sure that we build consensus around what you want this person to do and how you want the department and your, your meetings to work in concert to get good results for everybody, to protect the town's interests, but also to have applicants walk away feeling like the process was clean and fair and timely. And um, I'm, so therefore, I'm not going to rush into a hire because we feel like we Don't. just need somebody yesterday. I want to think carefully through the whole process. That means consulting with each and every member of the planning board, the CONCOM, zoning board, anybody else who is going to interact with the community development department. and review the processes that are in place now for applications and consideration. And, uh, you know, the, the opportunity presented with a vacant position is you're not hurting anybody's feelings if you decide you might want to do something different. If you want to do everything the same, then that may, that's easy, right? That's yeah. just put it out there. I, I do want to, to flag a couple of important issues for people. One is not just admin time that we need. We need skills that are fully up to date with collaborative work tools, meeting facilitation, mm -hmm. and general support for the entire operation of the planning board and all the land use activities. And in order to be able to fund more admin time, uh, I need to look at the full salary profile of the community development department. And so rather than tell you I have an answer because I don't, I'll just pose the question. The question presented is whether or not the town truly requires a registered professional engineer in this position, or is there a common practice in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for planning boards to hire out the engineering review under 53G arrangement, and your administrative officer should be very experienced, should be able to read a plan and critique a plan and manage those engineering relationships, but more importantly, provide you as a planning board with timely feedback 
and timely feedback to applicants. Huh. I am uh, not exactly thrilled, and, and I, I, you know, I'm, I'm as guilty as this as Bill was. So I'm not trying to criticize Bill because I make this, I, have, I run into the same problem myself with the board of selectmen. Sometimes you have so much work to do that you get back to your board like 24 hours before their meeting. And they're all, and all the members sit there and say, you know, I wish I had more timely notice of some of this stuff. And that's what we, going forward with some of the proposals that are coming through the pipeline for the town, we don't want that to be the customer experience. We want people to get feedback timely early on so that they can refine their presentations for the boards so that you you are actually looking at a final proposal, something that you can act upon. It's a little bit unrealistic to say in one meeting, but you know, once things start to get continued out four, five, six meetings, there's um, you know, there's probably some room for improvement, and we're very open to that conversation. CMRPC is going to be retained because we are a member, you know, a dues-paying member of CMRPC to give us a couple of weeks of support, both in reviewing the plans and preparing your board agendas and reviewing uh, the job description and the lay of the land and facilitating this conversation between my office and all the boards. Um, the way I want to roll this out, I do want to settle this in about three or four weeks time. What I'd like to do is have to conduct these interviews, build the consensus and agree all all parties involved, including the Board of Selectmen, agree on the job description for this role. It may not be what everyone ideally would want, but it would be close enough to what everybody can agree is a good thing. And post it. The board wants me to post it uh, to the marketplace in general, not internally, so we want to cast a wide net. And at that time, we would have an interview committee that would involve, again, probably not every <coughs> board, but some representation from the boards and representation from staff. In, in the final analysis, it's a department head appointment. Mm -hmm. So under the, the Town Administrator Act and the personnel policies of the town, I make the appointment, but it doesn't take effect until the Board of Selectmen either approve it or disapprove it or 21 days expire with them taking no action. So it's basically an appointment with the ratification process. So in order to keep the timeline moving, we want to make sure that my appointment comes right about when the Board of Selectmen's agenda will be posted. That's the fastest way to do it, right? If I give them notice of the appointment a couple of days before their next meeting, if they approve of the appointment, they can do it, they can clean it up really quickly within a couple, 48 hours. So that's, that's the timeline, about a month. I really don't want it to languish for too long. There are a number of communities in our area that are in the market now for this particular type of role mm -hmm. in the sixty-five dollars to $75,000 range. Mr. Cundiff was at the top step at hundred and this year would have been one hundred and two dollars or close to $103,000. If we could save enough money to get more admin, that would be my plan. I would not reduce the budget of the department. I would backfill. Uh, staff with you know additional time and I would you know that admin job description mm -hmm. is extremely important because what I'd be looking for there is all the things I've described mm -hmm. familiarity with and use of collaboration tools for sharing documents reviewing documents and presenting documents to the board um, in order to tighten up this process I I, I think more well, in the year 2021 mm -hmm. We might want to slow down with the copy and distri distribution of, and, and frankly, sometimes I see things that get copied and it's like, it, for God's sake, that's so small, nobody can really interact with it in a way that's meaningful or share that document with anybody else. So I will say that on Monday, uh, we'll have a week-long demo with a smart board in the resource room. I asked for an 86 inch board mm -hmm. to be demonstrated. Actually, we'll have two, a smart board and then there's a competitive brand. What is that? It's, it's, it's a touch screen, just like the tablet I'm using, but it's oversized. It has the software necessary to pull up a site plan, for instance, in PDF. 
you guys can make your comments. The meeting facilitator circles the parts of the map that are interesting, writes comments down on the map. At the end of the meeting, presses print, and our fancy plotter down the community development office prints out enough copies of what you just did for the applicant and for board members and for the minute taker. And that way everybody knows exactly what was said. And that map becomes a reference point and an archive of the action taken. I have other uses for the device. I'm not going to buy it unless I think it's going to work the way I want it to. But I just want to throw that out there is we want to leverage technology more and more. And we need staff that are capable of using it so that it doesn't fall on me or you or cable guys or anybody else to, to facilitate your um, Having said that, though, if the board wants to discuss what you want in this role in a public meeting, that is a good start. So, I mean, sure. I can yeah. take notes or look at this video later as the beginning of uh, CMRP's, CMRPC's work in, in getting all the comments together. Yeah, if we can offer some guidance, yeah. then he can alter his search yeah. and maybe, I mean, definitely an admin is needed for sure. Yeah. But whether we use an outside consulting engineers that the applicant pays for, but we definitely need to have investing in a uh, a person here who's an admin coordinator. Yeah. I mean, I, I I think Matt would like to yeah. hear our opinions. Yeah. I would like to see a combination of the two, the admin and then a consultant, well, maybe it, through. Yeah, I, I know Webster and I know uh, you know I know Millbury use has that person that Matt's describing. Right. And the the one in, in Webster is really good. You know what I mean? Um, knows their stuff. Bang, bang, bang. Can see a plan go through it. And then they use a consultant engineering company for the technical aspects of what's being designed, whether it's a you know bridge or something like that, or being reviewed. Um, and and it, it works. It works in their community. It works in other communities. Um, but again, it, to Matt, what's Matt highlighted here is it's, it's a person with those skills, the the whole complete package in the office skills. You know I mean, to, you know what I mean, the admin and coordination, yeah. coordination, and some sort of engineering, sort of background, yeah. understanding the planning, understanding, yep. but not an engineer like Bill, sure. which is more the consultants. Yep. So, uh, question, Matt: Do you know how many towns or communities in Massachusetts have a professional engineer on the staff versus versus outside consultant? Have you gotten those yet? Uh, that's one of the things I asked CMRPC to document for me. Mm -hmm. It is my understanding that our approach, while it is not unique, it is not common either. It is much more common to have the board vote for a 53G arrangement for an outside consultant to do oh. all of your yeah, air engineering uh, reviews for you, and then that's presented to you as a report. There are a number of cases in recent agendas of your planning board where that was the case, where Bill had to just went out and get Lennard to do all that work. Right. Yeah. You know, sometimes, oh, oh. listen, I mean, he's a very smart guy. He added to the conversation. I'm just not convinced one way or the other. I'm not convinced an engineer makes it better or worse. I mean, I think that's a conversation. Um, I know from my, my educational training that you put two lawyers in the room, we are going to get five opinions, right? Yeah. I don't know how many opinions you get with two engineers. It's usually more than two. Well, I guess we don't want to go down that road of hiring a, you know, the engineer if that's not what the board wants. I mean, I think we need to sort of tell them what the opinion is. Well, I, I got a couple things to say. Number one is some I mean, of the comments you made about it taking long for applicants and this and that. You want to have it speeding it. The biggest problem is the applicant. It's not the town. When people hand in paperwork six hours before a meeting, I know. it's pretty hard to make it expedient. And not only that, normally the applicant brings the issues upon themselves. It wasn't because of what was going on in the corner office. So that fallacy, I think, is a mute subject on that part of it. The other thing is, is when you don't have an engineer here, it was tried years ago. And a lot of the projects, and nobody can contest, the roads, infrastructure is garbage. Because it was never really looked at at the best interest of the town. I don't care who you get for a consultant. He's not here 24-7 to worry about it. He might be here this month and gone next month. So, in the best interest of the town and some of the projects we have going on right now, 
The only reason a lot of it has been caught is because of board members and Bill being able to go immediately to that point and not be told, sorry, I'm booked today. I can't get there for another three days. Well, a lot can happen in construction in three days. So it's a fine line here. I understand both ends of it. But as yourself, as you know, you've come into this town with your second administrator since I've been on the board. There could be four or five more. Most of us here, we live here. So everything that goes on in this town is going to affect us. Maybe not today, but 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road, like we're starting to find out now on a lot of these older projects where there's serious road problems and everything else, now the town has to shell it all back out again because what? We saved a buck? It's not worth it. So that's my point a little bit. Well, uh, just to respond for a second, there are very clear cases where in the past, I'm thinking of Sunset is probably the example I'm most familiar with. That roadway is, it was horribly built, it's fallen apart. It won't be easy to fix, it will be expensive. And you know, we're, we're all public servants, we work for you. So we are passionate about defending your interests. Mm -hmm. And saving a buck today and having to rebuild that road for however much that's gonna cost is just poor public service. So we don't want that environment to repeat itself. Now, having said that, um, I guess what we have to really hash through and look at what other people do as one, one data point, not the only data point. What do other people do and what kind of product do they get? Because sometimes the answer isn't that you need to hire an engineer internally. It's that you may have hired the wrong consulting engineer when you hired them to look at some of these roads. Or somebody got their way. Well, I'm paying for it. Get, get the cheapest one for me. That makes you business friendly. It's not about being business friendly. It's about defending the interests of the town. So if you hire a slightly more expensive firm, but one with an excellent reputation and who does excellent work, and the applicant has to pay for it for 53G, so be it. Mm -hmm. um, we have, from year to year, only so much revenue growth to split between the schools and the town. This year it's about 170,000. So you know where most of that's gonna go, right? It's not gonna be on the town side. So to the extent that I have budget flexibility to recommend the town meeting different ways of doing things, it's because we save. We look at the budget that we have and try to get more out of less. Yeah. And that's my only concern with the salary profile of the department is that if we want more admin and we want e-permitting and some of these other things to roll out smoothly and effectively, mm. I don't have a lot of new resources to put into it. Mm. Now, that's true this year. It may not be true in the future. If once other revenue streams come online that are not tied to the real estate tax base and, and taxpayer, but from other, other ways of raising money. That's all food for thought. But at the moment, if Uxbridge is out there in the market, they're, they're, they're doing a, a regional relationship with Millville and Menden for a planner. They're advertising in a range 65 to 75. That's a, that's a fairly substantial town. Um, I could wax poetic on whether I think that arrangement's gonna work because I don't think it will, but they're, they're going to try it. It's not a lot of money. Uh, yeah. You know, and here. so if you did that, if you freed up enough budget, there's sometimes people do much better work as a planning agent or as a town engineer mm -hmm. if they have really strong admin support. I know that Bill worked very hard on a lot of things like archiving his records and organizing his records and making it accessible for people. Um, those are admin tasks that uh, regardless of any budget change we made last year, those, he's been doing those things for years. So I'd like to take some of that out of the job description and, yeah. and make the department head truly a department head, manage the people, and when it comes to the policy and the substance, you're the one doing the analysis and you're not being sidetracked with entering things into a spreadsheet or a, or a database. Serving sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> and, 
and I, I appreciate that input, and I understand it to a point. But yet, here at the last meeting I was at, public meeting, we hired two more personnel into the town. So obviously, the town can find money when they want to find money for certain people. So I think it needs to be broadened out a little bit to be inclusive into every department, not just certain departments. Well, you know, to, to what Matt's also highlighted is, is that you want to be more in line with what other towns are doing. You know what I mean? Um, I, I know I know Spencer. Um, I saw the job posting for a planner, and they were you know it was in the uh, local paper, and you know what, Sutton's got a planner, Millbury's got a planner. They've got those for that aspect of trying to move the town forward, so you can create those revenue opportunities to have the correct staff in place. So, if you spend the dollars, which you know we're in a town, we, we we don't have an unlimited budget. We're not you know able to spend money freely. It's not, we're, not spend, we're not spending more money. The money's there in the budget. Right. We have we have money approved for an engineer. We don't have an engineer right now. Yep. We need an engineer. Well. Uh, that, I mean, that's my, that's my take on yep. it. I mean, Bill did but, an but, awful lot of work. No, no, no. But in the interim, in the interim, we may need some consulting. If it takes four, eight weeks, oh. ten weeks to get a full-time person, yep. and I'm not, right. Mike, I, I don't disagree with you, but we're worried about two weeks from now. Like right. next, oh, yes. next week, we're probably oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like tonight, we got schooled almost on something, right. you know. So we, we, we had an engineer well, here. Yeah. Even a consulting engineer, just for now. Yeah, we need somebody. We, we need, need somebody, somebody now. Here. So Matt, we need somebody like right away. Now. We need we need somebody now to look at the projects that are coming in and giving it, us. It, it's either going to be that, or we can't be taking on new projects because we have nothing in place at all, and no guidance from the selectmen or anybody on. Okay, we're going to get somebody for the interim for your next meeting, guys, so it can all be reviewed before you have it placed back in front of you. There's none of that in place right now from what I'm gathering. And that's what we all agree and upon. And either right? we have to stop accepting applications right. and things, or we need to get somebody in place immediately, at least for a yeah. temporary. Yeah. I think so, we all agree with that. So I mean, we need something now. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah it, it's having, it's having a, a consultant engineering company come anyway. to your meeting. Then, anyway, yeah. so, so when I was in Webster, when I was in Webster, seeing. Uh, CME used to come to our meetings. Whether there was a project on the agenda that they were going to get paid out of the 53G or weren't, but they would come to the meeting, be, you know, be exactly. here for a question or two. Very knowledgeable, get up to speed on our bylaws. When there was a when there was an application that came before us for an ANR or subdivision or they like that, they picked it up. They picked the project up because they were the primary. That's how the consultant engineering world worked over there. Right. Very successful. Right. You know what I mean, we did. That's for now. We need it now. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, we did the whole redevelopment. If you look at it, where the price shopper is, where the old Cranston Print Works was, that was all done with the consultant engineering. The bank that went in there, the whole, uh, we redid the whole downtown area, Webster, and multiple businesses. You know what I mean? From a solar farm, uh, you know, $9 million solar farm, $8 million ER addition, all that was handled with a CM CME as a consultant well, engineer. We need to worry about it for the small projects also yeah. that's going on. Yeah. And not only that, as you know, I mean, at least on the planning board side, we're meeting every Thursday of every week. Yeah. Because we're here this week, where last week we had the Blackstone, yeah. we go back to them this week, and now we have no representing yeah. engineer or consultant or anybody yeah. I, for the town of Douglas, for the town of Douglas interest, but yet the town's gonna get revenue from it. I think, I think Webster had CME, don't quote me here, Matt, you can talk to the administrator over there, but I think they had them on the consult, uh, on the, uh, like payroll for like the consulting of like maybe uh, twelve thousand or eight thousand dollars a year for those those stopgap meetings when they would come in here and stuff like that. And, and, and then when there was a retainer, there's a retainer. Yeah. And then as the 53G comes in, they were right. doing this thing. So I think they were on as a retainer amount. I, I don't know the exact dollar. We 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 need an engineer. We need somebody that's going to write Correct. bonds. That's going to negotiate the bonding for projects right. that come in and stuff like yeah. that. We we and need know the bylaws and that right. knows the bylaws. Right. This is Tracy. Yeah. Hold on. No, through the chair, um, Matt, what is the short-term fix for new applications being submitted to yeah. the Community Development Department for Planning Board? I'm glad you're giving me the opportunity to repeat what I've already said. You are <laughs> going forward because I'm going to get CMRPC's staff person. I'm just clarifying for the board because I, we're going around in a circle. 
that's what I said. I also am not at all worried about the Blackstone Valley Logistics Project. The decision has already been made that your consulting engineer on this project amongst the three towns is going to be Graves. Yep. Period. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Towns representation doesn't have to be an engineer because neither of the other two towns has one. Right. So it'll be me for the time being because my background is economic development and projects like this one. And some combination of me and Bob and Eric, the economic development facilitator, who's going to help me smooth this stuff out, um, is going to represent the town's interests. And, you know, done one warehouse, have done them all. It, it's, it is what it is. The project is going to be reviewed by Graves, which is one of the most commonly used. Mm -hmm. Graves and Lenard are the two most commonly used in the area. Yep. So these are uh, firms trucks. with excellent repu reputations for the quality of their work and their customer service. Um, what about the two we have going on right now? So in the interim, you know, the, we're going to have an experienced planner who given be giving us uh, two days a week, and if he feels like we need to get more help, then we will get more help. Okay. Um, also, I, I just, it's not 4 8, 10. Please don't do that. That's not what I said. I said four weeks is the goal. Four. And so... Uh -huh. Don't you find yourself in a position of having to shut down the pipeline. That's in nobody's interest. Nobody uh -huh. will accept that. No, agree. Agree, Mike. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Matt. We'll be talking to you. Thank you. All set. Yep. Right, I think for now, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Keep us in the loop, please. Yep. Oh, you'll be in the loop. You'll have. You'll be talking to me more than you ever wanted. To. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a good thing. Thanks. Thank you. Right. Right. Thank you. Well, that's it. Okay, we have to sign some things. So we got motion. Motion. All set. Sure. Okay, no motion to adjourn. Uh, oh, hold, hold on. Do you need me for anything else? Uh, no, motion to adjourn. We need your second on the motion to adjourn. <laughs> your second. Second. <laughs> motion made by Mike Z, seconded by Tracy. Any further discussion? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That unanimous? Aye. That's unanimous. Aye. All right, thanks, Tracy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take it don't, easy. Don't anybody go.